So we got a unique call today. House has low water pressure and it's a new build. We don't get calls like that often in Dallas normally because Dallas has grown so big that they pump up the city pressure line so high that normally we get calls from home inspectors saying there's too much pressure. So what that tells me is either we're gonna find a valve that may not be open all the way so that when they do open it and try to get flow through the house, they're not getting enough flow. So it's really a flow problem, a volume problem, not a pressure problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a gauge put on, see what the pressure is, and see if I find a valve or if I find a pressure reducing valve, which normally is what we'll find. Let's get this thing going. All right, so what I've done, I've asked the fire's agent to go in and turn on the faucet. Okay, so see the pressure's dropping, God, up to about five PSI there. That's quite a bit of drop just for somebody opening up one faucet. So we're gonna have to look around and see what we can find. Now, we're ready for anything. Okay, so here's one of the biggest problems that I run into. Now, I've got several things open, but when I go to the kitchen, I go to hot, the pressure slows way down. I go to cold, it comes back up. You've heard people talk about this all the time. We have a PEX ball valve. Now, nothing wrong with it, but you've got a crimp back here, you've got a crimp back here, and it reduces the size. The ball valve itself can't be as big as the inside of the pot because it's gotta go inside and be crimped. This is creating a flow restriction, and this is something that, for these customers, is leading to a problem. My recommendation to them, take this out, let's put in some adapters and go to a full-size ball valve. But still, you've got the PEX in there. There's really just not a safe way to do this and do it right without having a problem. I would have gone to Upanor being full-size, expanding out, and doing it a little bit different. Okay, so, man, did we have fun. Now, there's problems here that are gonna have to be addressed by the general contractor that's trying to sell the house. And it's really easy to see that that valve, you know, whenever we turn on the hot water, we see a flow restriction. On the cold water, we didn't see it near as bad. There's a ball valve in the front yard, it's open, that had plenty of pressure at the hoses, but whenever you turn on several hot things, pressure really dies down, and I think that flow restriction at the water heater is killing us. So one thing to remember is anytime you're building a house, designing a house, or even replacing copper pipe with other pipe, remember to always upsize your PEX one full size. The reason being, the flow restriction created by the fittings is horrible, and it leads to problems like this. So it is what it is, but hopefully they can get the general contractor to come in here, open up the wall, increase the line size, and make sure that they don't have any problems. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.